Hey everyone, it's Ashley Ryan here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make cloud slime. You'll need the following ingredients. I chose this topic because I love to play with slime and I love to make it. The first step to making cloud slime is adding a half cup of white school glue into a bowl. You're going to start by pouring it in there and using a spatula or a spoon to get it out. Secondly, you are going to add a half cup of water into the glue. And then you are just going to start by incorporating this together and making sure that it's well combined. It should look like this, so don't be too worried about it. Um, and if you want to add some food coloring, you are sure welcome to. So I'm gonna add just like one drop of pink food coloring and just mixing that in. Um, you can also add your food coloring after, but I'm just deciding to right now because it's pretty easy to do it right now too. So I want like a light bubblegum pink so color. The so. next step is to add your activator. And this activator is one teaspoon of borax mixed into one cup of water and you want this to be dissolved. So you're, and then you're just gonna add like a teaspoon at a time. And then you're just gonna mix that together. And it will not look like anything at first, but just don't give up. And just keep working at it and you'll see it clump together a little bit. So that is perfectly normal. Um, and then you're going to just add, um, I'm gonna add three more scoops and just see what that does. So I'm going to be mixing this together and you will need to put your hands in here and just mix it all the way. Um, but you're just going to make sure you have it all the way well combined. And then I'm going to add a few more scoops. Okay. It might flick a little bit, but that's okay. Slime is always kind of messy, so. Like I said, it's perfectly normal and okay. Okay, then I'm going to add a couple more scoops. And then I'll probably dig, um, get my hands in there after these. And I'm just using a spatula because it's kind of easier than a spoon. So, uh, you can use any mixing tool you want but I find a spatula is easier. Okay, now I'm gonna start by just mixing my hand in there. And don't worry because it's supposed to be gloopy um, like this. And you'll start um, feeling it coming together. And then while you're doing this, you can also add another spoonful of your activator. And you can see how it's starting to come together when I put my hand in there. Because if you're just using a spatula, um, I don't really know if that's gonna work all the way. So you will have to get messy. Uh, and if you want gloves, you can also put those on, but I'm just gonna get dirty. So yeah. And don't worry, this is not the finished product of the slime. So don't worry, it's going to look better when it all comes together. Slime is so fun to make and I just really love it. So slime is very calming and so fun to play with. And it's so fun to make and it's very, very satisfying. So. And you can also like add many things into it to make it like crunchy, soft, stretchy, and there's so much more that it can be. 
So this is how you want your slime to look. Um, so I added just like five um, teaspoons of the borax activator mixture. Um, so it's going to be like jiggly like this and then you're just gonna start by kinda going around the bowl and just getting it all off the bowl there. And also, like I said, this process takes a very long time. So, don't worry, but you will get a good slime at the end. The next step you are going to take is you're gonna have a teaspoon or a tablespoon of dry instant snow powder. And you're just gonna start by kind of getting a little bit in there at first um, and just mixing it in there and kneading it with your hands. And this step takes a while. And you will notice that the slime will start to get tough. So that is completely normal. And you will notice that it starts to get stretchier as you put more of your snow. And make sure it's dry instant snow because if it's wet, it will not work. So. Or if you've already activated it. Um, I've noticed that that does not work. Okay, so I finished kneading all of the, in, the dry instant snow into the slime, and you will notice that it will start to get really sticky. So just dip your hands into the activator and kind of rub it around in your hands, and then just keep kneading the slime. And um, you will notice that it looks pretty cool. And it just looks like clouds, kind of. So um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And in addition, you're just going to keep stretching it and kneading it um, just to get all of the instant snow incorporated. And yeah, so um, one interesting um, historical fact about slime is that it was created in 1976 by a popular toy creator named Mattel. And it was a green colored slime and it was made from borax and guar gum. And kids just love to play with it. And I'm really like shocked that it was like, it slime is that old. Like I thought it was like just in the 2000s, but no, it was from the 1970s. Yeah, good luck if you are going to make it yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.